Hello and welcome to WLA Weekly. I'm your guest host, Nick Mazra, and filling in for Tally Campbell. In this final week of the regular season, we look at the past week's games and look forward to the playoff matchups. We also talk to Maple Ridge Brards Captain Jared Davis about the NLL coming back to BC. That and much more. This is WLA Weekly. I'm here with Berard's captain, Jared Davis, and can I get your thoughts on the recently announced NLL team that's coming back to Vancouver, the Vancouver South, that will be playing out of here, the Langley Event Center. You have a family in Port Moody. Can you talk a bit about the fact that now they can come and watch you play when you play for the Edmonton Rush in Langley? Yeah, I think it's great for uh, Vancouver, for BC Lacrosse, and especially for Langley. Um, I was at the championship game in the stands, regrettably, but uh, they, I think they put on a great show and really, um, Langley's kind of turned into the class of the league in the WLA. They put on a great show. They uh, they really go above and beyond what everyone else is doing. So I think they deserve it. And uh, I think it's great for British Columbia Lacrosse and hopefully grow the game. We start things off Wednesday at the Langley Event Center as the league's best Langley Thunder played host to the Salmon Bellies. The Friday Night Delight would feature two games this week, with the first one seeing Langley heading into the Bill Copeland Arena to face the Burnaby Lakers. The Thunder led after one until they got into some penalty trouble, racking up 27 penalty minutes in the second as Burnaby scored eight in the middle frame, with five of those coming on the power play. At the end of it all, Robert Church would score four times with Casey Jackson bending the twine three times, and Dane Stevens would record seven points in the 14-6 Burnaby win. The Nanaimo Timberman would be in Victoria for the second game on Friday to face the Shamrocks in a penalty-filled affair with both teams combining for 92 minutes in the sin bin. Even with all the time in the box, there was still some scoring. Scott Ranger would bend the twine five times, Derek Lowe would record seven points, and Corey Conway would end the night with eight and a 14-8 Shamrocks win. And the Maple Ridge Brewers would visit the Frank Crane Arena to face the Nanaimo Timberman Saturday night. Both teams would light each other up in the first as the Broads led 7-6 after 20 and they would capitalize on the lead in the last two periods as the scoring did relax but Riley Lowen was able to get the hat trick in the final 40 minutes to help secure the 11-7 win over the Timberman. Lowen would pick up six points on the night with Captain Jarrett Davis getting five himself in the win. And in the last game of the regular season, we would go to the Palace on Poirier where the Coquitlam Adnax would welcome the Burnaby Lakers, who would get off to a great start as the Lakers would get seven past Adam Shute to lead 7-2 after one. But the Adnax would bounce back in the second in a huge way, scoring 10 with Travis Cornwall leading the way with three goals himself. With the score now 12-9 Adnax heading into the third, Burnaby would claw back as they got to shoot for three straight goals, tying things up at 12, all with under five to go. Jesse Guerin would once again feed Cornwall, who would score his fourth and the game winner as the Adnax would win a close one, 13-12, to end the regular season and win their fifth in a row heading into the playoffs. The Langley Thunder would finish first in the league with 24 points. In second place and close behind are the Victoria Shamrocks, who managed 22 points this season. The Burnaby Lakers would place third with 20 points. And in fourth place are the Coquitlam Adnax with 19. Just outside the playoffs in fifth are the Maple Ridge Brards with 16 points. Close behind them were the New Westminster Salmon Bellies, who managed 15. And in last place this season are the Nanaimo Timbermen with just 10 points. Leading the league in goals and in points this year was the Maple Ridge Brewards' Curtis Dixon, who finished off the season with 103 points and 58 goals. 
The Langley Thunder, who finished first overall, will play the Quiltlam Adnax as they ended their season in fourth for Game 1 at the Langley Event Center on August 1st. Langley's Dane Doby will play his former team for the first time since being dealt at the deadline in a multiplayer trade that included Brandon Goodwin going to Quiltlam. Langley took the season series, winning two and tying the third. The Burnaby Lakers, who finished third, will be the visitors in the second series as they take on the second place Victoria Shamrocks, with Game 1 being played on Wednesday, July 31st at the Bear Mountain Arena. And this series should have a ton of firepower involved with three of the top five scorers in the league playing in this one. And Burnaby took the season series two games to one. Thanks for watching this edition of WLA Weekly here on VSBN.ca. You can go to theboxrocks.com for all the playoff dates and times. Keep it locked right here on VSBN.ca for all your local sports coverage.